If I told you a pen tester could map out a target's online footprint, so find every public file, discover hidden subdomains, and even check if credentials connected to that target have been exposed, all without touching the target system, you might think it's some kind of magic. Well, it's not magic, it's called passive reconnaissance, which is gathering intelligence from publicly available sources, aka OSINT, without sending a single request to the target system. So, in this video, I walk you through the exact process using a safe test target so you can learn the techniques without risking any real system. Let's start with one of the most overlooked but revealing areas the public clues that people and organizations live online. And trust me, you will never look at an innocent selfie the same way again. When pen testers work with companies, one of the easiest places to find information is actually social media, because it's public, it's voluntary, and it can be a gold mine. Now, why does this matter? Well, because social media posts can reveal names, uh, technologies in use, photos, etc. And every one of these details can be used later for targeted attacks. Here's an example. Imagine an employee posts a selfie on his first day, proudly showing his badge. By seeing exactly how that badge looks like, a penetration tester could replicate it and make one of his own. With that fake badge, he could attempt a physical pen test and walk right into the company. And here's something that pros never skip. Make notes about everything you find because you will need those later. Now, even though my safe target doesn't have any social media accounts, in a real pen test, you might check LinkedIn for names, job posts, Instagram for office photos, uh, X, etc. All of this is passive because the information is already public and you are not touching the target systems at all. Once you've gathered those information clues, it's time to see what the internet itself has to say about a target, and I'm talking about domain and DNS information gathering. Every domain leaves a trail of public records, and DNS reconnaissance is all about collecting them. So why does it matter? Because these records can tell us who registered the domain, what other services are running on them, and where the servers are hosted. That gives us a map of the target's digital infrastructure without touching anything private. Here's what a pen tester might look at. Who is records show uh, domain ownership, details, registration dates, and sometimes admin contacts. Public DNS queries are done with tools like dig or DNS lookup to show how the domain resolves. Public tools like DNS recon can automate those lookups. Then you have sites like CRT.sh, which use certificate transparency logs to reveal subdomains that appear in SSL certificates. Now that you've mapped the domain's public records in DNS information, you can dig deeper. And I'm talking about subdomain enumeration. Why does this matter? Because subdomains often host different parts of an organization's infrastructure. That could include old test servers, forgotten admin panels, or systems they no longer maintain, and each one increases the attack surface. To find them, pen testers often use Sublister or AMS in passive mode. These tools query public datasets, search engines, and certificate logs without directly touching the target. Once you have the domains and subdomains, the question becomes what's actually running on them. And I'm talking about website technology fingerprinting. Why does it matter? Because if you know the tech stack, you can identify outdated software, unsupported frameworks, or known vulnerabilities much faster. One easy option is the Weppalizer browser extension, which can detect both front-end and back-end technologies. From the command line, you can use WebWeb that can do something similar to Appalizer. And there's also built with uh, an online tool that provides detailed breakdowns of web stacks. Once you know the tech in use, it's time to see if any related accounts have been compromised, and this means breach credentials and email gathering. 
Why does this matter? Because leaked credentials can lead to account takeovers if employees reuse passwords. So even one exposed email and password combination can open the door to attackers. Pen testers often use Have I Been Pwned to check if an email has uh, appeared in known breaches. The tool Hunter.io can help find email addresses linked to the domain. The tool Email Hippo confirms if the email is active. By now you have quietly built an intelligence dossier without touching a single system. And that's the moment where passive reconnaissance shifts from passive to active. Passive reconnaissance is about patience and precision. Each piece of information on its own might seem harmless, but when you combine them, they create a detailed picture of the target's infrastructure and risks. In real-world pen testing, a strong passive recon phase can make or break the entire engagement, so the more complete your picture, the better your plan for the active testing phase. If you found this useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Stay curious and stay safe. Bye-bye.